Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here, approaching by way of one police plaza, the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Now, we're going to be covering the uh, Rudy Giuliani Georgia Collections case uh, starting quite soon, but we have to report on this Diddy docket. Incredible. Yesterday, filings were due at noon, and they started, they came fast and furious uh, about the First Amendment right to, in, to intimidate witnesses. No. The First Amendment right to put stuff out on Instagram to explicitly affect, affect, affect the jurors. But more recently, this morning, a filing by, by Combs' lawyer, heavily redacted, uh, about the apartment that he's proposing to move into in the Upper East Side. Um, we can't really tell since more than half of the letter is redacted, but from it one could surmise that they really, they think he's getting out. And he's responding to something in the government filing, and he's saying we're going to check out the place and we're going to give you a report. So this could happen at any time. There could be a ruling put into the docket by Judge Subramanian uh, saying probably not, if it were to go that way, not to release him right away. Um, but they'd have to check the apartment, he'd have to come, and uh, I'm not sure why it's so cloudy here. Um, but watch this space. We're working on a sequel to Did He Do It? And um, so there's that. This would be right day, only days after the Daniel Penny, Daniel Penny for Your Thoughts book. Um, in other news, in other news, of course, we reported it yesterday, but we'll say it again. Uh, Jack Smith dropped the cases. He dropped the cases uh, without prejudice. And Judge Chutkan made a point of saying without prejudice. She said, um, it's only temporary uh, while a president is in. So therefore, the case could be revived in four years, or more, slightly more than four years. So there's that. Meanwhile, we, we, did, we covered the United Nations. These scoops are coming hot and heavy. Uh, we have the scoop about the UN and Colombia. We have the one in Libya. We have about four different strands coming. And the UN doesn't respond to any of them, even as, as there are very specific allegations made against you high UN officials in these countries where the UN should be doing, they're supposed to be helping people. Instead, they're just using it to give jobs to their friends and in some cases, sexual abuse. So our coverage will continue. And a showdown is looming. Uh, Antonio Guterres is apparently in Portugal. He gave a, a speech to something called the Alliance of Civilizations. Moratinos and uh, Sampaio. He obviously wants this kind of cushy job when he leaves. Don't know, don't know, because he's been a failure as a secretary general and he's been a censor. And one hopes that the litmus test, he will not pass it. Uh, Inner City Press would like to go in and ask questions uh, as we ask down here. And we won't rest until it happens. So to be continued, we're heading in. Rudy Giuliani case, did he filing? To be continued.